get dry lips. Constant dry lips. I'm gonna make myself comfortable. <sighs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Okay, so today is Monday. I think today is the 10th or 11th. I will insert the right date. <sighs> it's part of pregnancy, like you get baby baby fogs is that how you say it 35 i turned 36 uh this past saturday today's monday and i had an interesting event on friday when i was 35 weeks so my contractions heavy contractions <laughs> came back the same ones i had when i was 29 weeks so at 36, yeah, 35 weeks on Friday and six days, I was contracting really heavy. Um, they were about like they were coming every five minutes and they would last for like one minute and so forth for like a whole 30 to an hour. And my aunt came, she just happened to drop by. And she like sees me there kind of like panting really hard and trying to <sighs> breathe <laughs> um, I because I've experienced it before 29 weeks to think like thinking to go to the emergency was not in my mind because I just thought you know it's just another brass and heat so I'm just gonna go to the if I go to the hospital they'll bring me back which actually ended up happening uh, but my aunt insisted that we should go uh, to me and my mom. They were kind of pretty bad, like, kind of like they kind of felt a bit worse than the ones that I had when I was 29 weeks. Um, I have a video, <laughs> my sister, my younger sister tried to record me, but the room was so dark, I don't know, she didn't think of the light. I'm not good. Well, just to say something for her. Things are looking kind of exciting. And I'm not prepared. So, well, Most people aren't prepared. Every five minutes, this thing. Yeah, we need, we need to start when getting, do you go to the hospital? We need to start getting ready to go to the hospital. One minute of five? Uh, no, we could have, we could, like, we're going to join everything with you. We should, like we should start getting ready to go. We should start get, getting ready to go. So yes, I was contracting every five minutes to every five minutes for one minute. And uh, first, before we went to the hospital, we I called we called or my aunt called the baby center phone number. The woman asked me the questions. Are you feeling any weakness or numbness? On one side of your body. No. Okay. Can I go ahead and register this call and ask you more about your symptoms and then I can give you some advice, okay? Yes. Okay. What? Belinda. Gotcha. And have you called us before, Belinda? Um, I way back when I first heard my uh, contraction at 29 weeks. Are you pregnant? Yes. I'm How 30, many weeks are you now? 36 weeks tomorrow. Okay. Um, she asked me if my right, if my legs are numb and I said no because I was sitting down. But as soon as we hang up the phone to get up and go to the hospital, my right leg was numb. I could not feel it. So I was like, shoot, am I actually having a baby at 35 weeks? <sighs> I mean, I do want him to come, but I want him to come. I kind of want him to come close to full term, but not all the way. Like 37 weeks is considered full term. So that's when I want him. <laughs> Even the end of this week, because I just said 36 weeks. 36 this uh, on Saturday, so next Saturday I'm going to be 37, and I don't mind him coming then. You see me in a different room, it's not green because I'm at my mom's. Me and my husband are staying here until we deliver, and we're probably going to stay for another extra two weeks 
just so you know to get that help from my experienced mother who has five children so <laughs> yes um, I'll sh I would show you the room but it's not quite um, pleasant right now I have a bassinet that's not yet put together I have some baby stuff that I'm supposed to put together but iron like the stuff that I'm actually supposed to take to the hospital so the stuff that are in this room are actually the stuff that I'm gonna need at the hospital and when I'm here so but the things at my house are all set to go I am so relieved because you have no idea months and months I've been panicking how I was going to do the baby's room how I was gonna have this stuff guys God actually exists because Things just fell into place and I bless him and I thank you heavenly father God. Amen. <laughs> so um, so today I'm going to try to assemble this bassinet and try to put it together and try to get the baby's clothes ready to iron some. So yes that's my story at 36 weeks at 35 weeks i was going into labor but when i reached oh sorry i didn't even finish the story when i reached the hospital they put the baby monitor on and they checked the heartbeat and everything was good i was contracting so i stayed there for an hour for them to keep an eye on them and they just ooh, suddenly went down because i was like god okay maybe not at 35 when i was 29 i'm like maybe when i'm 35 but then when it happened at 35, I'm like, no, not yet. So now I'm saying 37. I don't know if I'll be, you know, like, oh, God, maybe not right now. <sighs> he can hear my voice. Like I said, in every video, he hears me, you know, relaxing, telling a little story there. He comes out for attention, but he's my little bugaboo. <sighs> so what am I ex experiencing at 36 weeks? So it hasn't been that long. Like I said, I just turned 36 on Saturday. But so far, I am still getting getting like the Braxton Hicks, but they're very minimal. They're very, they're not, you know, like you you hardly even notice notice them. Like I, I would feel like a little burning on my on my stomach. Apparently, that's the uterus contracting, and sometimes I get cramps because the baby has dropped low. But I have not lost any fluid, um, nothing crazy like that has happened. So the baby is likely to stay a bit longer, but I hope not too long, really. Either the end of this week or next week, I'll be happy. But one thing I have not fulfilled that would hurt me is actually my belly shot. I actually wanted to take a picture of my belly shot, hang it in his room, and do all those mommy lovey dovey things. Uh, that's the, I think that's also another reason why I prayed that he doesn't come right away because I want to take a picture of him in my belly in my last you know, days and stuff. So I have to think fast. Um, I have a, I have an appointment with Walmart. Yes, Walmart photos, nice and cheap. You know, as long as I get a photo, that's what matters. Yeah, I reached the hospital. They, they, they went down. The contractions went down. They made sure that the cervix was not dilated, and they saw that you know everything was good. They sent me back home, but they did tell me that if I do experience them again for an other hour, like five, every five minutes, lasting to one, every five minutes for one hour, lasting for one minute or you know or less or something like that that i should come back to the hospital so um yeah they were i sort of started feeling like that uh towards the end to like in the evening of saturday and sunday i started to notice that they were becoming more and they would come every five minutes and they would last a little longer than one minute so i was like uh oh you know but then after they went away by themselves so i don't know if you can hear that um any cravings apple juice apple juice is still number one on my list before i was before i got pregnant i didn't like apple juice because when i was sick that's all they would give me at the hospital 
but <laughs> after I got pregnant, it was like, give me apple juice today. Give me coconut juice. Apple juice, coconut juice. Oh my goodness. Sorry, coconut water. <laughs> coconut juice, coconut water. I think preferably more of coconut water than apple juice. But whatever is close to my, to me, I grab. <laughs> and yes, that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> and yes, I'm gonna be glad to look back on this. You know, when the baby comes, I'm gonna look back on these videos and just remember me being pregnant and being anxious to see him, which I am experiencing right now. Everybody's telling me, enjoy it, enjoy him being in there and stuff like that. I am. But I ju I'm just so anxious to meet him. I just want to hold him. I don't want to feel heavy anymore. I want to be able to lie in my belly and my back and not worry that I'll be squishing somebody. You know? Yeah, I mean, after all that, then there's like the whole thing that everybody said, oh, he's going to keep you up all night. <sighs> it's like another win-win situation here. I hope you can hear me because I think my voice is low, but I need to speak loud. So I hope I recorded it. <laughs> I hope the volume is up because I'll be very upset if I spend this whole time recording and no volume.